Morning folks, welcome back to the boat build. Back on the job, just had a week away down south. The hottest days ever, working in a recycling plant. That's red hot to start with. And on the Monday, Tuesday, you know, it was ridiculous heat. Anyway, we're back in a nice cool workshop, which is cool at the moment, it should be warmer in a bit. But, so we're gonna get this finished. So at that stage now, we had the oven in, it fits. We've got these boards in the side support of the shelf. They won't put it in correctly. And then a full board down this side. So it's a full division here. So we've got a side for the shelf, for, sorry, for the drawer runners to go on. And then we'll make the drawers for in here. We'll put a large drawer across the bottom there and a drawer in the other first unit we did. So we'll get some board cut and we'll get on with it. Cut the boards now and that's the, that stops there, that's going to sit on that. This comes in and then closes all this off. And then at this side I've cut another board, I know there's a joint on it, but it don't matter, it's never going to be seen. But I'll put it to the bottom and that's sat behind there too far, so I'm going to pack this side out, 15 mil. The draw runners are sat in tight to the sides now and I can get a measurement between the runners for the draw width. 335. 335 and we want to 400 depth draw box and then the front will go on. So it all ends up flush in line with this outside edge. But I was going to start doing all these, but oh, we need to measure the bottom one as well, but we'll get that. But I've changed my mind because making drawers, you have to get set up to do them quickly, you know, get everything set up and then knock them out. So what I'll do is, as I'm making the units, I'll measure them all up and then at the end, We'll have a day and we'll make all the draw boxes. So I'm just going to get measurements for now. And then I can crack on with the units really. Because we will need to get those in on board shortly once the walls are done, lined. So I've got my measurements for the drawers. I can make the end board for this. And I've got to put the aluminium round there. So I'm going to crack on and get them done and do all drawers at once. We'll get on with the side panels now. So this is going to be a panel same as on the first big cupboard. So it looks like that with a mid rail. Uh, so we've got the timber. All I've got to do is get it cut up, cut the slots in and we'll have that Set the end panel. Oh, I'm on set glue following me around. So front of it, back of it. Yeah, we've got damage on the old timber. Irrelevant. We'll never see it. It's just that timbers 
expensive to try and save or so, so try and use as much of it as you can what's it matter that that scarring's on the back you know it's never to be seen again as long as the front's okay anyway that's a quick clean up of it I'm just going to put these units sort of stand them in line and we'll have a look at what uh, the final thing will look like I'll put the clamp on it because if it falls over you don't want to see me cry it gets damaged so that's the first well the first run come down the stairs on your left go on a cupboard Drawers, it's a corner cupboard, cupboard door on that. Drawers, so that's the end panels. So we're coming on. We'll get this surround made then. So that's those cut. We'll try the other. There we are, fits like a glove on a chicken's top lip. Come in. I think what I will do though is get this around, get these pieces sent off. We're going to powder coat of black, same as this oven. So it's got a nice black permit around it then. I think it'll look better than being aluminium coloured. Yeah. We'll put some toast on. Alright folks, hope you can see me in my camouflage gear. <laughs> well, I've just come back from a job and got in the way your hive is. So we'll just have a look at these cabinets and just have it an hour, end at day. And that's where we are so far, so there's a shelf, well I have another shelf as well, two shelves in there But I'm not cutting material just for shelves What's left when they cut the rest of the carcasses uh, You know there's offcuts so the shelves will be made out of those And they're going to get lipped all the way around And I've just got a bit of masking tape on there as a handle We've got this bottom drawer in Come on So I've made my first carcass, draw, carcass, draw box and I've just got some deliveries from Amazon and I've got handles so I'm thinking I'd use these flush handles down there so otherwise I just wouldn't wonder about you know if it's a D handle or something somebody will be kicking it if they're flush I think that's going to go in here. I've got a couple of types. I think that one's too small, but I've got another use for them. So we'll have them on there. I've just got to, we'll use the outer and just relieve back for these. So they'll sit flush on there. And this drawer box on runners. So I'm going to press that one down, lift that one up, it comes out. So the boxes are made out of birch ply which is the best stuff for making anything like this out of it's tough, it's straight, don't move uh, it makes really good draw boxes so, and these come out with this little release mechanism here so we've got 12 mil ply for sides front etc and that one's I made it with slope on for front to that match its front so you've got 12mm ply there 
And on bottom, we've got 9 milli birch ply. That's a good solid box. And these I'll be sending around to Luke and uh, he'll spray them all. So they've uh, got a good, um, the lacquer they put on, uh, tough lacquer, you know. So, that, so just slide back in, clicks in, and that's it then. And them runners, they're just a sort of standard runner, which are fine, but I've ordered some other ones, which have got soft close mechanism. I'm not really bothered on bottom there, they'll not be open, you know, day in, day out then. But last night I ordered these and they went to be delivered. So, so I ordered them Thursday night and they're supposed to be delivered I think it's next Tuesday, Wednesday, delivery day. It's unbelievable. These have got to be the new ones. I don't know how it gets stuff sent out so quick. Logistics of this. But these should be, and they are. Some others. We order them about nine o'clock at night and they get delivered dinner time following day from goodness knows where in this country. And these have got the soft close mechanism in them. So you pull them out and then you, they go so far back and then the mechanism grabs hold. It's a spring loaded type thing. Blooming clever whoever's invented this stuff. Look at that. They're brilliant then. And they hold 35 kilograms, so there's a lot of weight you can put in them drawers. So I'll be using them, because on the next cupboards, the ones next to this, I've got to put, I'm putting three drawers in that one, next to cooker. So we'll have to have a pan drawer, and um, well, a couple of pan drawers, I think. So deepish, drawers because the next to cook and you can put the stuff like that in. I can't get over them, they're fantastic. Anyway. So we're gonna make some more. That's a bit of timber I've run off already. Rounded over foot drawers. That's a back plate, hundred mil foot back bit and sides are all at one fifty. So we need to run some of that off, machine it, it's just run over with router and uh, we can make some more draw boxes and uh, they can get finished because now we've got the slides to put in. Alright, we'll get on with that. Alright, so we're removing from the bond here, 10 mil up and then we're removing 9 mil. So that's squiggle we're taking out and that's the rabbit for the bottom to go in. So I've set the blade at 5mm depth so it'll cut 5mm up this from the bottom to there and that's enough for the panel to slide in. That's it. We put them rabbits in. So that's a nine milli board that goes in the base. Just fits in lovely. Perfect. So we want to draw that's eight seven five wide, tight size, four hundred deep. The birch is twelve mil thick. So we want the sides two at 400 long, be 120. The front is 875 minus 24, so it's 851 by 120. And then the back is 851 by 100. And we're simply, you can join these, you can use draw lock uh, cutters or routers and, you could, uh, you could dovetail them, I suppose. You could do 
low splines, you could do it with that, you'd have to cut a groove. The easiest and simplest way, and it's just as good as any for my money, because they'll be absolutely solid when they're done. We're just using biscuits. We use a uh, size 10 biscuit. Just makes an absolutely solid jaw, you know. You can go, if you want to, you can use the fancy cutters, you put it routers and they put a, a lock on and they'll slip together. Fine, if you want, if you want to do things like that. But keep it simple, stupid for me. Kiss method. So we'll cut some of these and basically biscuit it, clamp it up, job done. That's it then for today. We'll get off home. It's five o'clock Friday tea time. It's long enough week for anyone that. So this will be dry foot morning. We'll get bottom in and we'll get the other jaw boxes made for the pan jaws etc next to cooker. Alright, so thanks everybody for liking, subscribing, etc. And I uh, hope you're enjoying seeing how I do things. I'll it's my way of doing things, you know, you can do them your own way, people, there's different ways of doing these, it's just a simple way of doing it, you know, so I'll keep things simple, alright, ta. that's done now I just put a bit of glue in the slots and just parted the back a bit and got some glue along there it's got five screws in that back now it's all sat nice and tight in them rabbits so that ain't coming out right so we'll let that set up for 10 minutes and then we can mark on here for the draw slides Put the ones on the carcass. I have tried this in before I actually glued it all up. It is right. You must always try them. <coughs> and then uh, got the jaw front to put on, uh, which we've already got machined up. So that's it. We'll get ten minutes and be back. Like a glove on the chicken's top lip. We'll get the jaw front done. I've right, measured up the opening now for the three drawers. So we've got 600 height and it's a draw width of 325. So I've got my CAD machine out, it's a bit of MDF. And I've drawn my opening size on there. That's my draw front. So I've got a, a 250, a 200 and a 150 approximately draw front will be going on. The hatch bits are the sides of the drawers. So it's the same draw heights as them, the 120. And then The black lines are where the runners go. So from that, I can take measurements for the centres of these. I know where everything goes. That's all you need. Draw it out to scale. 
no, well, not to scale on, sorry, draw it out to actual size. You know, don't mess around with it. You don't need a computer to make drawers. <laughs> you know, they've been making them thousands of years before they had all this CAD stuff, which has it's got its uses, obviously, but, you know, get a bit of MDF, a bit of card, draw it out, what you're doing, do it to proper size, you've got everything on it, no messing, can't be wrong. Right, we'll get some drawers cut. Three of those done. And now we need to set the hinges. And I meant that as a gauge. So, because if we measure off here, we need 40 mil up from the base. And that's where that sits. So it's far easier, make something like that. And then just stick it in there. And you can uh, set everything off that. That's what we're doing. But we have had to, I've had to make these packers that go behind because this is recessed behind the, that edge. And when these come out, they're a bit close to on there. So we're going to pack them off with that. it basically well, it all wants rounding off and everything yet take the iris off clean it up and that's what we're trying to do and we'll use these packers between each one so we get an even gap we're trying to get an even gap up the sides as well so what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll put a couple of screws in that one and then work his way up and adjusting and whatever as we go. That's those first fixed. I'm not putting all the screws in them yet because uh, you don't want to be putting screws in and out, otherwise the holes wear out. But that's it for now. We'll put the oven in and have a look at that. So that's it, roughly the finished article. I'm going to get these painted up. Is it black or dark brown, whatever these are, so they match that. Obviously all the handles have got to go on. I think it looks all right. Pleased with all these working. And 
two useful jaws at the bottom there. A lot of space, isn't there? There, all usable. Not got the back in that yet, and not got the other shelf cut, but that's it. Have a look around it. There we are with the end panel just clipped on. I won't be putting a back in this, just leave all that open for the air. That's what the jaws look like from the back. See the mechanism there, that when that touches that, when that touches that it draws it in. The inside of that cupboard. There's a, what the drawer does look like on the bottom. They're not the soft close ones those though. So that's it for now with this one. It's basically finished. It wants some finishing on the wood and also the worktop, which we're casting some concrete worktops and the hob. That hasn't arrived, got delay on that. Now to stock apparently. So we we'll need that to cast the worktop really. But anyway, unless we can just do it off dimensions, risk it. So that's it folks, that's me done with this one. We've got another unit roughly the same size to make that goes on the starboard side and that will take the the uh, sink uh, worktop on the sink in it and we'll have some cupboards below maybe some more drawers I don't know we'll have a look what we need but anyway thanks everyone liking subscribing etc if you haven't subscribed why don't you subscribe and you'll be able to see the rest of my attempts at fitting this boat out. And uh, hopefully we'll soon have it on the water. But that'll happen when it happens, won't it? Anyway, alright then. Ta-ra!